Okay, so we know we can place multiple images in. We can group them together. We can ungroup them. We can put them however we want to. There's another really nice way we can place in multiple images, which I'm going to go through now. So I go to File, down to Place, as we did before. And I'm just going to select a number of these images. Um, one, two, three, four, five six images there. there's a couple of duplicates but it doesn't really matter for this purpose I'm just going to put these images in so I've got six images I'm going to click open and just let it gather those together so again I've got six labeled in my cursor here so now I've got six images instead of just clicking one two three four five six I'm actually going to click and drag okay and I'm not going to let go of my mouse okay so I've still got the mouse held down and what I'm going to use is the cursors on my keyboard, so the up, down, left, and right arrows. Okay, so if I click on the right arrow, my keyboard's again still holding down on the mouse. You can see I'm making three different frames there. And if I choose the up arrows, I'm making more frames like this. Okay. And again, I've not let go of the mouse yet. So essentially, this is just giving me a little guide saying how many frames it's going to make. But I don't need this many. I only need to have six. Okay, so I've got six frames. When I let go, it's all six images in six different frames. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I've got... The problem I've got now is all the frames are the same size the images inside the frame don't fit they're different proportions so this is when I can come back up here to my control bar remember these buttons we're pressing fill frame proportionally there look so with all of them selected click on that button it fills all these frames proportionally with me there so we've got this really nice grid place so I press the W key on my keyboard if you remember just hide that so it keeps them all nice so again I've got some duplicates there but I'm not concerned about that we're going to place them in properly again in a bit so W like this Okay, so it's a really nice way of putting in multiple images there. You can have as many as you want. And all you do is use the cursors on your keyboard to get them that nice placement there. So if I just do that again, because I'm just going to show you another way we can control that. So file and down to place. And again, let's select two, three, four, five, Okay, so grab another six of these images and open. Right, so this time when I'm clicking and dragging, okay, up and across there. And control, if I press my control key and my arrow key, you can see I can reduce the gap as well so I'm using my arrow key and my control key to reduce that gap or increase that gap there okay and I'm going to let go again the image is placed in press my fit and there we have a nice grid placement of images